Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. I uh, wanted to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules, especially uh, I know things are exceptionally busy these days with everything that's going on with the COVID-19 uh, crisis out there. So again, especially want to ta uh, take the time to say thank you for sharing your time with us, your most valuable uh, time with us today. Uh, this is number two in our uh, top 10 things that you can do to create a more secure environment for your organization. Uh, with me, this is always my number one thing. I always ask my customers, what is your secure score? Uh, how many points do you have? Uh, where are you? What are your next improvement actions? How can we enhance? How can we harden your environment for security and provide a more secure environment to protect your users' identities, their devices, their data? Um, what are you going to do? And this is a great thing. Uh, secure score is my number one thing. It should be your number one thing as well. So let's jump in and get started. Uh, first and foremost, my name is Tom Mohn. I'm a cloud architect with Microsoft. I've been with Microsoft since about 1996, and uh, I've been a huge, huge evangelist for the Secure Score ever since the very first moment uh, it hit our planning and roadmap uh, charts. So I want to walk you through what you can do with the Secure Score today. Um, what's coming very soon to the Secure Score and is already available in preview. And again, uh, wanted to just walk you through and give you some demonstrations of this. Again, my name is Tom Mohn. I'm a cloud, cloud architect with Microsoft. I focus on security and compliance. And hey, if you want to follow me, uh, this is what I look like from behind. Uh, but just uh, if you are following me, please keep your social distance. Uh, I, I'm kidding, of course, but uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, happy to have you uh, follow me and my posts. LinkedIn is probably the most appropriate place to uh, follow me. And with that, let's get started. Our agenda today, uh, pretty short, sweet, simple. Um, why? Why did we create the secure score? What are the benefits to you? Uh, we'll go through an overview, walk through a demo. I'll cover a couple of roadmappy things during that demo, uh, but then uh, really touch on all of the capabilities that we have uh, coming to you in the not too distant future, and then we'll just wrap up. Should be a quick 20 minutes. Uh, uh, so again, thank you for spending this 20 minutes with me today. Now, if you look out across organizations and what's really sad out there uh, is 93% of all breaches could have been avoided if ba basic cyber hygiene had been in place. Uh, it, this is just horrifically sad. Uh, the last week I, I was involved, uh, not involved with two breaches, involved with customers doing forensics and resolving a couple of uh, breaches that they had in their organizations. Uh, one of them, uh, this attack came through email. They were an owner of Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. Uh, but when we went into their admin center and looked at their configuration of Office 365 ATP Advanced Threat Protection, um, not only did they not have any anti-phishing policies, the default policies were disabled as well. Uh, just tremendously, horrifically uh, sad. And all too often in this day and age, I've got customers who are saying, gosh, I'm sending remote workers home. How do I keep my data secure? How do I secure my environment? How do I secure access uh, to Office 365? How do I secure these managed and unmanaged devices? And the answer that I always give is, that's right, secure score. Go to your stinking secure score. Look at your secure score. Look at the improvements, enhancements. Do you have too many global admins? Are those global admins protected by multi-factor auth? The other uh, city that had this large breach encroachment uh, was due to the fact that they had five global administrators and Microsoft recommends five or fewer global admi admins into your tenant. They had one global admin that didn't have multi-factor authentication enabled. These nefarious characters exploited that. They went in, they created a, a admin account, uh, and then they proceeded to forward all their email externally, all email from all users in this large city externally to an email uh, uh, email service. Uh, so this this is tough. So uh, and really bad and could have been easily prevented as this slide uh, dictates. The other thing that's uh, tough here is that 
you know, cyber hygiene is hard and it's hard to maintain. It's hard to see where you've been, where you're going. You're trying to protect users. You've got change management process and other processes. You've got a plethora of tools. I was just working with a large state and in this state, their, their uh, IT department, um, they calculated that they were using 107 security tools today uh, with 107 different panes of glass. Virtually no integration except for the SIM that they used had integration into some of these other tools. Um, there's a lot of technology and technology is changing. So staying on top of this is very hard, not just from the depth of controls and the number of controls, but also from the, uh, the extreme uh, breadth of controls and technology that you use out there. Even within Microsoft, there are a wide variety of different tools to help you manage and detect anomalies for identity, gain information rights insight and how you're protecting encrypting data, preventing it from data loss and infrastructure capabilities. There are a wide variety of tools. Now with the Microsoft platform, it, it's great because these tools are all integrated together and they work well together. Um, but even if you only have one or two of these, maybe you're using Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, there is a Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection Secure Score. So that's a beautiful thing you can use just the, if all you're using for Microsoft is Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, you have a Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection Secure Score, and I will show that to you. If you're using uh, Office 365 or Microsoft uh, 365, there is a Office 365 Microsoft 365 Secure Score, and I will show that to you. So the nice thing is we have multiple secure scores, so you can keep your organization uh, tidy and secure. The other reason we do that is in a large organization, you there might be three or four of you. Um, this person might be your desktop person, and that person will look at the Microsoft Defender ATP. This person is your cloud person. This person is your identity person. Or uh, when I was doing IT, I worked in a small organization, about 1,500 uh, desktops and laptops out there and a bunch of servers. Uh, but my card had the title BDE. And somebody would say, I thought you were in IT. I didn't know you were a business development executive. And I always had to explain, no, that stands for boy does everything. Uh, I was the one boy who did everything in that organization. So again, you might have thousands of security controls. You might have hundreds of apps out there. It is very hard. I realize that secure score is your answer. Um, this allows you to assess your organization's security posture. You can see improvements that need to be made. You can discover, get guidance and gain control. And now with a new feature that we have, you can compare your organization to similar size, similar industry, similar licensed organizations uh, in within North America or the USA or across the world. So this is a very cool, cool thing. There are two capabilities here. You have read uh, and you have read write uh, roles. Now these are role based access control. Uh, controls that you have in the admin center in Office 365. You can be a global administrator, you could be a security administrator, or you could be a services administrator like an exchange admin or a SharePoint admin and admin these um, secure scores and look at secure scores and change and make impact to your secure score. You can also, as having a read and write role, one of these four role-based access controls assigned to your account, you can assign read-only access to other uh, role-based access control members like help desk admins, user admins, or service administrators like other Exchange or SharePoint admins. The other three are role groups. These are role groups within the Security and Compliance Center in Office 365 uh, or within Azure. Uh, they are uh, read-only roles as uh, in Azure or read-only roles in the Microsoft Defender ATP, for example, and you can assign these out so people can have these read uh, access to these capabilities. All of our secure scores have APIs. That data is exportable. It's importable. I can pull it into Power BI or whatever uh, dashboarding tool I use. I can pull it into a spreadsheet. I can give access to that spreadsheet or a Power BI dashboard, for example. Great, great things. You don't have to assign read-only roles. You can uh, leverage other technologies. We do have uh, the help your security posture, and you will see things broken down by uh, group or by uh, the 
the area that they will take impact on, identity, data, device, app, infrastructure. Um, so this is where you will see things in the secure score. Um, with that, why don't we just jump right in and uh, we'll take a look-see at uh, our demo here. And uh, let's just jump right in. So um, over here, and I want to start in the admin center. As I mentioned, uh, you do have your administrative center and you can just go right to the security. Uh, it will show your admin centers. And if I say show more or show less here, I can jump into the secure score in the security center. I will see my nice home. It will welcome me here. It will tell me what everything is about. Uh, I will see nice little overviews. I will see some device compliance here. And again, these are integrated together, but I can get to my secure score. Now, um, this secure score uh, is uh, the current sh secure score, and I do have the future secure score. So I just bounced back there and you saw me probably click on the try the preview or try the shipping version. Um, and this is generally the only time that I think a preview is good in production. 99.9999% um, of the time, I tell customers to never use preview capabilities in production. But since this is a view capability, since it's allowing me to make changes and uh, take an impact, but not within the preview itself, uh, th it, this is fine to use the preview. I just wanted to show you what you have today. And today you'll have a score that is X number of points, a numerator o out of X number of points, a denominator. Um, and y y your goal is to not get 268 points. If you have uh, 268 out of 268, your help desk is going to be crazy, insane, busy, and your end users are going to be crazy, insane, frustrated. I always jokingly say, if you have a 100% score here or you're getting 268 of 268, you should just hand out legal pads and paper, uh, legal pads and pencils uh, because nobody's getting anything done with technology. So the goal is to not be at 268. The goal is to look and understand and know these improvement actions. Most important in this improvement actions is there is is a rank. Now, out of the top 10 things that I had ranked here, I did numbers two through eight and number 10. So the nice thing is it's still showing me the things that I could improve, the things that I could enhance above and beyond those things that I already did. The other thing that it's going to show me is these are going to be ranked and this rank does take into consideration the user impact. How disruptive is this going to be? How painful will this be to the end user? And then a cost. Now, don't think of hard dollars or soft dollars. This cost is more of a time, resources, energy. That's the cost here. And then you will see a nice little uh, KPI of completed or incomplete here. I will show you there's a little spark line. There are a couple of nice things that you get in the Microsoft Defender ATP that we don't have here. And then we do have a historical uh, 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 example here. So if I, my score is either increased or decreased uh, over time, I can see that my how my score increased or decreased over time. I can see the global average. I don't know why this might have decreased uh, around March 16th or 17th, but uh, the global average went down. I'll see a similar seat count. I'll see my score. In the preview version, we also get to customize this. So again, and I'll show that to you uh, in just, well, let's just go there right now. What the heck? It's, we just can do whatever we want. It's uh, Sunday for crying out loud. Uh, so here in our Microsoft Secure Score, and again, this says preview, probably the only time you'll ever hear me uh, profess or uh, promote using a preview capability in production, but again, because of the nature of Secure Score. So here I'm seeing my Secure Score, and now we're showing you a point. Now, don't think that this is a pass fail, like 60% or lower is getting an F and 60 plus percent is getting a passing grade here. Uh, that's not what this is. It's just to take that thought of a numerator and denominator and uh, uh, do the math on your own here. So we're just showing you an overall score. I do like how we break this down now in identity, data, device, apps, and infrastructure. And again, these all aggregate together, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, you will see how you can make uh, a impact or get some additional points in your score. And again, this is by percentage, so it's easier to figure out how many uh, overall points am I going to get here. 
the improvement actions. Um, back in the previous version, like if I were to click on, um, hey, I'm going to look at my improvement actions here. And one of these improvement actions is require MFA for administrative roles. Maybe you don't know exactly what that means. You can click on it and it will show you, hey, I'm getting 10 points per global admin. 50 points total, and I've got zero of those. I don't have multi-factor auth turned on for any of my admins. Now, it might be because I'm resolved this through a third party. If you've resolved this through a third party, click resolve third party, and you will get those 50 points. There is also an ignore button down here. So I can say ignore this uh, because I, I just, now that will impact my score in a negative way. It doesn't in the preview, it doesn't in the future, but in the current version, that impacts my score in a negative way. The other thing that you'll see here is I've got a view setting buttons, and you will see that this took me right out to my Azure AD, right where I can impact multi-factor auth, create a new conditional access policy, or deploy multi-factor auth for my admins. Um, and this is a great, great, great capability. Uh, and that's all currently shipping now. Let me show you how it's improved in the not too distant future. You might already be seeing this today, or again, you can click preview and you'll see this. First and foremost, when I click for more information, it tells me, hey, here's how to manage this. This is at a glance what it does for me. And what is my user impact? Boom, show me all the users that this is going to impact, right? Uh, and then the implementation, and it does have exactly how I can implement this and get moving forward. Beautiful thing. I love the new secure score and that capability uh, just of and of itself. So I've got my improvement actions. I see all those. They're ranked. They're rated. Uh, I can see if I've made any changes here. I've got my historical. And then the other big change that I mentioned in this preview is that not only do I still get my score organizations like mine, but I can go into this custom comparison and say, hey, I want to manage this comparison. Now I support state and local government customers. So I could come in here and say, hey, give me a government customer. Show me everybody with Microsoft uh, Office 365 E5. Uh, because that's what I've got licensed, everybody who is in the 1,000 to 5,000 seat, and then in, um, of course, North America. So I can compare this to my organization or your organization, and I can get this uh, very similar and see how other orgs, other state and local government IT organizations compare to our organization. I do have another historical view here. And then if I have accepted any risk and you are accepting by saying ignore or accept the risk of this item that I haven't done, you'll get a score in a plus or minus fashion here as well. It's a, it's a real nice tool to help you understand your security posture out there. Now, I did mention the other secure scores like Microsoft Defender ATP. This is the Microsoft Defender ATP Security Center, and I am showing security operations here. If you're not familiar with Microsoft Defender or not too familiar with Microsoft Defender Security Center, I can come in and you will see a secure score here. One of the things that I love that the Defender ATP team did is they allowed us to put filters on these so I can filter them out. The other great thing that this team did is they gave us this nice little spark line per item so I can see over time if things changed in a, in a positive or a negative way. And then you do have this impact over here so I can see you know, what my exposure score uh, actually means and if it has changed and if I'm getting less or more vulnerable uh, due to an exploitation. Finally, from an identity infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, um, we have the Azure Security Center. So now I'm in the Azure Security Center and this is our secure score. This is in preview. I got to apologize. I'm an idiot. I don't have anything populated in here, but you can get to this Security Center secure score very quickly. And uh, again, this will also have uh, capabilities of how I can improve and enhance my secure score. Now, I didn't have much in that uh, that uh, particular Azure Secure Security Center secure score. Uh, this is one that's totally populated here. So you will see recommendations uh, and uh, the items that I can improve. 
what this is going to make impact wise, um, where are my resources and across all my subscriptions. Another huge thing here, this is all Azure properties. So across if I've got 10 subscriptions because I've got 10 agencies with separate billing, uh, that I'm separating out, I can look at my secure score across each and every one of those subscriptions. I can look across containers. I can look across network subnets. Uh, this is a great, great secure score from Azure. Uh, and, I, and again, I'm looking at my resource health monitoring here. So I just did want to share that with you, a great secure score. And again, you might have person A who's in Azure, person B who does your desktops, person C who does your cloud, Office 365 productivity apps, modern workplace apps. Um, these three people can work together or work separately. Or again, if it's like me and you're one BDE, boy do, does everything, um, you can work in your secure score. Now, I think I did a, a pretty good job. Uh, this is just our little vision slide, a little marketing. We will get you these slides uh, or you can review this later, but again, we are trying to empower every organization to have the most secure, most productive uh, environment with the highest security posture as possible. So again, this is built in. I don't know of any organization uh, outside of Microsoft that has this. We are making improvements and enhancements to this. I did mention that we are changing from points to a percentage, so you can see that assessment and make an assessment without doing the math on numerators and denominators. Um, we are moving everything to, oh gosh, you've got five global admins, 10 points a piece, 50 points, so oh, four of them are in, that's only 40 points, I could gain another 10 point. Uh, everything is 10 points. So now you'll get 10 points for multi-factor auth for admins, 10 points. And this uh, allows uh, aligns with the uh, CIS, the Center for Information Security. Risk accept, accepted will no longer impact your score, as I mentioned. Total points for your organization denominator is based on the products that you have deployed. Uh, not the products that you're licensed for, but the actual products that you've deployed. So if I've deployed uh, product A, but haven't configured it or enhanced or hardened security around that, um, I'm going to have uh, a very low percentage or no percentage of those points. A customized comparisons, as I showed you, that uh, takes your uh, com comparisons and in, in, and uh, allows you to compare you to other customers who are in the same industry, same size, same organization, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So here again, from a secure score, hey, what is my security posture? It helps me understand what my security posture is, helps me understand that breakdown. And then, hey, where is my org? Where do we fit? What should I do next? How do I take action and monitor and control my effectiveness as somebody who's concerned about the overall security across my organization? How can I prepare a report? Because I didn't really show it to you there, but I can export these things uh, and I can generate a report or maybe I export that right to Power BI and then have my CISO uh, hit the Power BI report. So this is a great, great capability, especially for a security admin operations uh, folks uh, who need to know and need to report up what their security posture is. I wanna thank you sincerely for taking time out of your busy schedules to hang with me today, learn more about the secure score. Uh, while there's nothing really to implement here, implementing the individual capabilities that help you get a more secure environment, improve your security posture, uh, and make your end users, their identities, their data, their devices more secure. Those individual things that you can do, we've got great help with through your TAM, your technical account manager, if you have a technical account manager, um, through Microsoft Consulting Services, and through our vast network of over 400,000 partners out there. Uh, again, I hope Secure Score will help you uh, maintain or improve the security within your organization. And I thank you again for spending this valuable time with me today. Bye for now.